Hello and welcome to Newsroom Series. Today, I'm Alumide Mokoli. We're bringing you happenings from the southeast region of the country. The Enugu State Governor, Mr. Peter Mba, has assured residents that his government will do all it takes to deliver quality education in the state and increase the literacy rate amongst children from 50 to 100 percent in 2025. Governor Mba made this commitment in a town hall meeting with citizens of the state titled The Issues of Governance, The Journey So Far at the Old Government Lodge in Enugu. Tackle the education, the crisis we have in the education sector frontally, and which is essentially what we have done. We are currently constructing the smart schools across the 260 wards. We've awarded the contracts for 135. So in 135 wards today, those smart school projects are ongoing. Now, before the end of, before the end of next month, we're going to award the balance of the two, 125 wards. So we're going to... According to him, the state government is currently constructing smart schools across the 260 wards in Enogu State and will be fully operational by September 2025. The objective is to ensure that every Enugu state child gets equal or better education as his or her peers in Europe, America, and other developed parts of the world. We've identified all the indicators where we're challenged, whether it's the numeracy and the literacy rates, where we have currently about 50%. Our target is that by next year, we're going to move that to 100%. Where we have, and what we're doing in the smart school is almost for us. Now, for more on this, we are joined on the program by the Commissioner for Education in Enugu State, Professor Wambui Zemba, who joins us via Zoom. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, the name is Professor Ndubwe Zemba. Oh, we do beg your pardon, Professor Undubweze Mba. Thank you for being with us. Now, a laudable plan by the state government of Enugu to create smart schools across the state. What got the government thinking in this direction? The um, governor of Enugu State, His Excellency Barrister Dr. Peter Ndubwe Simba, in his evaluation of the sustainability and development challenges facing Enugu State, um, he identified education as the single most important um, intervention uh, program for um, three areas of, of development, as outlined in his um, statement of proposal manifesto from two years ago. And he has been steadfast and faithful to that uh, statement of purpose. And those three cross cutting areas is one, in the area of um, GDP growth and manufacturing, um, and the second sector is in area of governance, and the third sector is in uh, social service delivery. Of all the uh, sectors um, of the state, he identified education as the single most important that cuts across all of them, both in terms of um, creating a skilled workforce um, that will move Enugu from being, being a civil servant state to becoming a productive state, um, to ensuring that we achieve a 0% poverty headcount um, from our current 48% uh, poverty headcount. Um, and also to achieve a, a radical GDP growth in a way that is sustainable from three, uh, from $4.4 billion per annum to $30 billion per annum. But beyond all of this, um, when we think about uh, social service delivery um, and the um, the crisis of youth delinquency across the southeast, as well as in other parts of Nigeria, uh, we the, His Excellency sees education as the surest intervention. Um, he sees the investment in the child of today, um, who is going to build us better roads, better hospitals, provide us better uh, facilities in the future, as the most sustainable way to approach development in Africa. And so this is the idea behind the smart school, to bring together in one space 
um, the uh, technological interventions, uh, the modern forms of teaching, experiential teaching, experiential learning, um, and um, to, amb to ambient capacity among young people in that space to solve local problems. Okay. Um, and these local problems are often aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So, skill, okay, Professor. Um, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Thank you for that answer. And that also begs the question, the smart schools, the public schools, are they going to be upgraded into smart schools or will the smart schools serve just a few? The, the smart school is, a com is part of a comprehensive uh, education uh, transformation agenda. Um, the smart schools that we're building now are going to serve every child in Enugu State who is in the basic school system. So that's from the age of three years old to the age of 14, 15 years old. That's from nursery one, two, three, through JSS three. So that is the complete basic school. And this smart school is completely free for every child in Enugu State. And there'll be 260 of these schools because we have 260 political wards in 17 local government areas in Enugu State. So it's, it's based on a simple principle of that, that no child will be left behind. But in after um, completing basic education, uh, the Enugu child will have access to smart senior secondary schools as well, which will serve um, um, uh, SS1 to SS3. Um, and for children who do not want to go to university, who want to pursue vocational skills and vocational education. At the completion of basic education at, at the level of JSS3, they will have the alternative choice of moving into one of 17 vocational uh, technical education programs that we have across the state as well. Um, so the smart school is not so much an infrastructure intervention as much as it is um, an education programmatic intervention that begins from uh, childhood education, early childhood education, all the way to tertiary education. And the program that we're running in these smart schools from basic to tertiary are called experiential education is where our kids learn by doing not just theoretically or hypothetically, we want to uh, make available to them the technologies, the amenities, uh, the facilities, the education resources, so they can put into practice what they learn inside the classroom, outside the classroom, all the way from early childhood to the tertiary institution. So the smart school is really um, the beginning of uh, a comprehensive and widespread um, um, an all-inclusive education reform in Enugu State. It is not just going to stop with the basic schools. It's also going to include the senior secondary, the vocational, and the tertiary institutions. Why do you call them smart schools? Uh, what are the components? Is it because of the use of computers? Thank you. This is a very good question. Um, the, you know, what makes a smart school, one is that the uh, physical infrastructure uh, ensures a safe, inclusive learning environment with access to learning resources, whether those learning resources are physical or material and proximate, or whether they are distant and electronic or digital. We want to make sure, and so the, the question of being smart, there is not so much the, the physical infrastructure or the equipment or technology, but what those things enable you to gain access to. So it's about the forms of knowledge, the forms of educational resources that, it, that are um, accessible through the smart school. That's what makes it smart. So we may not have uh, a certain uh, physical education resources, but we can be able to access them digitally. We can be able to access them electronically. Uh, we can have uh, a mechatronics uh, professor uh, from MIT uh, teach, and our students will be able to, um, you know, be participate in that lecture through their own class from their own classroom, right? So it's it's about access really that is important. That's what makes it smart. The second thing that makes it smart school is the teachers, the personnel, the people who are 
actually teaching and, uh, and um, pioneering instruction and learning and how well these persons have been prepared. So we're talking about teachers so, and how they teach. So smart schools are about moving from rote teaching and rote memorization to uh, experiential learning, learning by doing, learning uh, by practice, um, and developing 21st century skills, uh, as well as technological skills for the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, by 2050, a majority of the world global, of the global youth are going to be in Africa. Now, the Africa's youth can be a deficit and a problem for the world, or they can be the solution for the world. And so what the governor of Enugu State is doing is that he has identified the children as a single most important intervention resource that we must invest in today to build up our human capacity um, for the fourth industrial revolution. So Indeed. that is what the smart school is about. Yes, and we hope that uh, you are very successful in this endeavor and we commend uh, you and the governor of Enugu State for this enterprise. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you. And that's Newsroom Series today with a focus on the Southeast. Thank you for watching. I'm Alum Demacard.